Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, a very happy new year to all of you. I'm super excited because this is the first video of year 2023. And last year, you guys gave so much love to my office outfit videos that I thought this will be a perfect start to the new year. So here I am with five office outfit ideas from Monday to Friday that I think are perfect for winter season, are stylish and will keep you warm. And I think these are also very helpful for those of you who are heading back to the office after enjoying the holiday season but want to revamp your style elevate your outfits a little bit give it a fresh start so without any further ado let's get started for the first outfit i'm going with a very basic neutral color which is black and for the top i am going with this ripped mock neck sweater from H&M and for the bottom what I had in my mind earlier was to pair this up with my black pants or trousers and go for an all black look but then I thought that will be very simple and not a very exciting start to the new year so instead I have recently discovered this unique combination of pairing your turtlenecks or your sweaters with a woolen skirt so that's why I have decided to pair my sweater with this very beautiful skirt and this is a woolen skirt very high quality thick enough to keep me warm all day long and this also has a slit at the bottom which I think looks very stylish and it has a beautiful pattern which actually breaks uh, the all black look and I think it's perfect for winter season and if you're someone like me who's always cold during winter season then I have a hack for you you can always wear your fleece legging that gives an illusion of sheer tights underneath skirts like these and they will keep you warm all day long and that way you will have an extra layer that will give you warmth and you will feel comfortable in the office all day long so this is your first outfit combination that I think will look very stylish and you will get so many compliments on this one trust me For outfit number two, I'm going with this turtleneck sweater dress, which has a very beautiful cable knit design in front. And when it comes to wearing sweater dresses in a professional environment, one thing that you should always keep in mind is to avoid skin tight sweater dresses. And I will insert a picture of what I'm talking about. So this dress looks very fancy as if I'm going out for a dinner or something, but this dress will not look good in an office environment. So I hope you get what I'm talking about. So always go for something oversized, one size larger than your actual size. And in order to divide my body into flattening ratios of two thirds and one thirds, what I can do is I can add a belt on my waist so that it's divided appropriately. And to complete the look, I will pair this up with my knee high boots and go for a fleece legging underneath the dress to keep me warm at the same time. This completes our whole outfit. For our next outfit, I'm again going with a neutral color palette. Now, this is the color that I have recently started adding to my wardrobe. And I don't know if you saw my Zara Banana Republic haul video, but I got this sweater in chocolate brown color. And since then, I am in love with it. And that's why for our next outfit, I'm going to wear this open front ripped cardigan uh, as an extra layer on top of this white turtleneck sweater so this will be our outfit combination and for the bottom i'm going to pair this up with these pleated pants from zara that tapers at the bottom now the reason why i chose this number one these are high waist so whenever you're wearing something long like a shrug on top of your outfits it creates a uh, the balance between the bottoms and the top so that's the reason why i picked up these pants and i think this whole uh, color combination looks very chic very effortless and is perfect for the office
For the next outfit, I am going to wear my favorite color, which is beige, and I am going with this cropped overcoat look. Now, I see people wearing blazers all the time. I wear blazers all the time to the office, but this is, I think, is something different, very unique. Uh, just in case you want to revamp your style, go vintage and give it a fresh start this new year. So this is something that I would actually invest in. These are very thick. They will keep you warm for the whole day and beige is a very neutral color that will go with all the base layers that you have going on for your uh, outfit underneath so for the bottoms you can either go for your pencil skirt or your straight leg pants i think both will look very nice with a cropped overcoat but as far as the color combination is concerned my favorite will be to pair beige with navy blue i think this color combination looks very nice very stylish and uh, something that is unique that i have not seen Seen many people wearing uh, in the office so next time you are out of ideas and you're looking at your wardrobe if you have both these colors try pairing them up together and you will see how flattering it looks on all body types For Friday, I wanted to keep the whole look very fun, experiment with prints and color combinations. So that's why for the top, I'm going with this very beautiful sweater from Suzy Shear. And for the bottom, I'm going to use my straight leg pants in pastel pink color. Now, the reason why I picked up this color is because if you look at this sweater closely, it has three colors. One is green pink and the third one is brown now the reason why i didn't go with uh, the brown pants is because then again the whole look will be very neutral very basic and i wanted to experiment with a few colors for a change i am a very neutral color palette person so this is out of the box for me and uh, the second combination that you can always try is to go for your green pants now i have green pants but the one that i have are not very professional pants if you know what i mean they are like jeans trousers mix so they don't give a very professional vibe so this was the only combination that i was left with and to add an extra layer underneath the sweater so that it doesn't look boring i am using my white shirt I really hope that you find today's video helpful and if you try these outfit ideas then don't forget to send me a DM on my Instagram or if you have more unique outfit ideas yourself then please send me a message on my Instagram and I will try to incorporate that idea in my next office outfit video and until then please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!